What's going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and today I'm going to show you how to fly in After Effects. So by fly, I mean you just jump, and in that position, you just fly out of the screen. So just a side note before you get started, you want to record this on a tripod, and you want to leave a lot of blank space after you jump. So you want to jump and get the hell out of there, and just have blank space so that you have something to replace where your body was when you fly away. Alright, so to get started, what you're going to want to do is scroll to the place where you take off. And it should be almost like the moment you leave the ground. Because if you do it too late, it looks like you jump and then you just kind of like jolt and take off. So you, I should probably do it there. My feet have just left the ground. So first, before you start masking yourself, just duplicate the layer. And I'm going to name this me. I'll give it a different color. Okay, so just go ahead and mask it out. All right, now that you have yourself masked out, what you're gonna wanna do is right click on the layer and hit time, freeze frame, and then control shift D will cut it so that it's at the moment, it gets cut at the moment that you jumped so that it starts right there. And also cut your original layer there too because you're not gonna need the rest of this. So I'm just gonna make that invisible for now because there is an application for keeping that but you don't really need it. I'll tell you about that at the end of the tutorial though. So I'm just gonna keep it, um, well, <laughs> well actually I, I do need some of it right now though. You have to go and take the part of the blank space that you had at the end. This is where that comes in. So just go ahead and cut out part of that and I'll cut this out. And bring the blank footage right to where you take off. So basically what this is doing is it's making the rest of your body disappear and just replacing it with a blank footage. Now here you can see a little difference in like where the leaves are, but it's such a small difference that you won't be able to see it when it's in the video. But if you need to, you can always make a um, like you can make it so it only replaces a certain amount by masking around those areas. And if there's like an object moving, like or a person on the other side that you don't want to get rid of, you can just keep that person in by only replacing a certain area around. That's like what keeping this part of it is It is for, just in case. But now that I already explained that, I'll go ahead and delete that. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions about that, you can just ask me. But now this is my blank footage, so I'm going to rename it that before I think it's anything else. And I'll give it its own color. Okay, so now here it's just me sitting up in the air, and that's obviously not what I want. So click on Motion Blur here and make it a 3D layer and turn on motion blur in your composition. Now if you don't do that then you won't be able to actually see the motion blur even though it's technically there. So now we're gonna keyframe the, the position so that you go flying out of the screen and that there is motion blur. So keyframe right there and probably over the course of three or four frames. So just go four frames ahead and drag yourself up and you can see if you scroll back it made it all motion blurry and stuff. All right, so let's see how that came out. All right, that should be enough. There we go. Now you can see that slight little change in leaves, but I mean, it looks like it took off. And of course you can, you can add like a little dust around your feet and stuff. And like I said, you can't, if there's a person standing on the other side of the screen, you can just choose to not replace them by masking the blank layer. So um, thanks for watching this tutorial guys, I'll see you in the next one.